so next module 10 data protection so in this lab we will see how to backup and uh, restore files hosted on azure virtual machine and uh, on premise computer so in this lab there are seven tasks in the first task we will uh, you know provision the lab environment so log into the azure portal and um, click on azure cloud shell so if you do not have the storage mounted already you need to create a new storage for me i have created uh, one already so if you do not have please go ahead and create it and uh, i'll be using um, the arm template to provision this lab environment Let's wait for the cloud shell to come up. Okay, so the cloud shell is ready. Make sure you select the PowerShell. So I'm going to upload the ARM template using upload option. Click upload. And this is lab 10 and select of uh, az104 10 vms edge template and click open next to edge parameters click open so I'm going to run the following command to create the resource group where I'll be hosting the virtual machine location is to us Archine RG0 and let's create a new resource group is the resource group and name call the variable location which is east us Okay, we have created the resource group in East US location. Next, we will create our first virtual network and deploy the virtual machine into it using the template that we have uploaded in the previous session. New AC group deployment. Tilda symbol. The source group name. Template file. template parameter file and run as a job Okay, so this will create the 
virtual network and deploy the virtual machine into it. Let's minimize the cloud shell and move on to the next task. Create a recovery service vault. So in task two, we will be creating a recovery services vault. So in the Azure portal, search for recovery services vault. and uh, click on create a recovery services vault and select the subscription and the resource group i'm going to create a new resource group called rg1 and enter the name of the vault is 104 10 recovery service vault one and leave the region east us so make sure you select the region where we have uh, selected the region for the virtual mission in the previous session and click on review create click on create so let's wait for the deployment to be complete. Okay, so the deployment is complete. Click on go to resource. And under setting section, click on properties. Okay, so click on update under backup configuration and uh, we can select either local redundant or geo redundant, leave it to geo redundant and next back on this properties, scroll down and uh, under security settings, click on update. And make sure soft delete is enabled. Close the window, back to overview. And in the next task, we will see how to implement Azure Virtual Machine level backup.